you're anywhere else. <laughs> so I'm in my van at the moment. I decided to get a broom. Whoops. And one of the first thing I purchased was a measuring tape. Thank you, Wilkinson. Um, I'm going to show you outside actually. That's the outside. This is in the van. And then the other side. And I'm here. So I am. Um, I don't know the measurements of this van. Like I can't build inside yet because there is a few um, things that need to be sorted at the garage first. And unless that's sorted, I won't start the van. But I am definitely going to test run actually staying in the van at some point. I've got so many tires, I need to get rid of them guy gave me extra tires and I'll definitely sell it for money you know but basically I've got um let's pull up my hair so the guy who I actually bought the van from he was kind enough to oops he was kind enough to hook me up with a mechanic which is his brother and he gave me extra some of these sticky back tiles are interesting if I can cover all the surface floor I might use it depends um, he gave me as well a hammock his wife bought him a hammock to stay in the van and that's really cool so I need to take measurements today I don't know what is where I've also got this box that um i've got a few storage units for so i kind of want to sweep out the van um and i got a book and a pencil pen to write down all the measurements because i want to write down like what the cost of everything going to be etc etc so that i can um write up the budget and go from there really Okay, so the length is 2.4 meters, which is really long. Like, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Um, so, I'm just going to draw the layout. For there. I will say that the, I like that it is two double doors because it's just good for, you know, clearing the air. Um... The van is like literally one centimeter away from my actual height which I could have had like a bed this way but um, if it was just like a couple of centimeters more I could have slept like that but that's not gonna work at all because I love my sleep so the width is about 1.6 meters um, which is great. Like, I'm actually so grateful I got a Bavaro. I wanted the Ford Transit Connect and I'm just so glad I've got this one instead because it's like, I don't feel claustrophobic in here. Even with the doors closed and stuff, I feel good. Um, so it's great really. I love the fact that that's like, the, the boots like, that because I could just get 
covers on the side and that's literally rain cover and what I'm thinking is having like the kitchen here but then having like a slide out so that I can cook outside there so if it's raining I can still stand because this the height thing is a little bit like sucks for me actually let's take the measurement of the height Yeah, the height's like 1.4. Which is great. So, like, if I sit on... If I had a bit more room, like if I was sitting like this, it would be still a lot of headroom. So I want to board up the top with... Um, tongue and groove I want so this is gonna be the back of the kitchen and I'm gonna sleep on this side I don't know why I just feel like the kitchen needs to be this side and I can sleep on this side so this is gonna be like on the back of the so this side is gonna be like marble I'm gonna get like marble um, cover for that the floor is gonna be vinyl I don't know about this vinyl tiles I might try it out you know it's free see how many I definitely need plywood for here plywood for there and the inside of the doors I need I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for the inside of the doors I need to do some research because I only ever saw vans that I wanted to convert with one like, complete wall um so basically all i need to do is build a bed with the fork have the kitchen set up um i don't know maybe for the minute i should just like make a hinge like a hinge thing over here it's really exciting it's just a lot to think about but it's good that i'm in this space so i can figure out what i'm doing i actually want to close the doors and see how um, dark it is but yeah this is very very exciting like the idea is to have like the kitchen here and then have like some up cupboard space here and then this all be like like maybe whatever back tiles here and then the top of the counter of the of the of the whatever to be either marble or wood and then white cupboards um brown whatever it is cladding the back i'm thinking curtains and get like a blackout eventually i could put a window in over here if i wanted to or over there um but I don't feel like a window is necessary, to be honest. Only when it rains, really. But uh, I also need to do like a extractor fan at the top. check out this um, these tiles see what they actually look like on the floor really like it actually because this is one of the designs I was gonna go for anyway because I'm trying to go like abstract contemporary versus I don't know but I don't know how 
durable these are. You know what I mean? You know how good it is. Worst case scenario, you just rip everything off, isn't it? So I'm never gonna use it because I got it for free and there's no need for me to spend like 90 pounds on something that I don't need when I've got this and I've got enough to cover everything. So I like it. And it's one less thing to buy. In my opinion, my family. Hey. Okay. This is the darkness. The light. Just discovered there's two freaking holes in the bottom of the floor, which I assume must have been screws to hold something, but that's not good. So that's something to consider. You know what I mean? Okay, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see the van build, please do subscribe. And if you want to know more about me, watch my videos, isn't it? Until the next one. Bye-bye.